Hello and welcome to a new vlog and trip report and today we're taking the Tesla shuttle from Erkner to the Giga factory of Tesla near Berlin. Operated currently by a talent one of the Niedervanima Eisenbahn and of course we're gonna start the video with taking a look at the arrival of my train in Erkner. It is operated by quite an interesting talent one. It is a former train of Regiojet that was used in Slovakia but is now back in Germany and now part of the fleet of the Niederbanima Eisenbahn. Here we can see the interior, nothing special, just a different seat pattern but otherwise a quite common side. Few changes in the interior but mostly the same like other talent one. There's also a form of first class, which you can see here, but there's no different to second class at all. And it is also declassified and used as second class currently here with the Niederbanima Eisenbahn. These trains are only running approximately until 2026 because it is currently the only possibility to reach the Giga factory by train. But it is planned to change the location of a station on this railway line nearby and then the shuttle is not needed anymore. They want to replace the station Fangschleuse to about where we are right now. You can see the factory in the background and then this shuttle will not be used anymore and also the railway line that we are going on right now will not be used for public trains anymore and that was the reason why I wanted to see it now as long as it is in operation like this. Of course there's a lot of criticism about the Giga factory as you can see a lot of forest had to be removed to make space for the factory but this will not be the topic of this video we will only focus on the railway line. Nächster Halt. Tesla. Dieser Zug endet hier. Wir bitten alle Fahrgäste auszusteigen. Sehr geehrte Fahrgäste, das Team der Niederbahnima Eisenbahn verabschiedet sich und wünscht Ihnen einen schönen Tag. Ausstieg in Fahrtrichtung rechts. We're now getting closer to the current station of the Giga Factory which is still under construction and is supposed to be much bigger in the future but nowadays this is the Giga factory near Berlin and this is one of the possibilities to reach that factory by public transport is the only way to reach the factory by train but there are also multiple bus lines to the factory as Tesla is making sure that a lot of employees can use the public transport to reach the factory and here we are reaching the station of Tesla and as you can see this is a very impressive and modern station especially if you remember that this will probably only be used until 2026 and nevertheless they built such an impressive station but i think that's quite typical for tesla for me it personally is one of the most impressive small stations i've seen so far and i was surprised in a very positive way by that station of course, a lot of people are asking the question, why is a diesel powertrain running to the Tesla factory? But this is also due to the fact that the service will only be used for maximum of two more years. And as it is very expensive to electrify a railway line, it is a non-electrified railway line. Also the Niederbanima Eisenbahn plans to remove the talent on all other lines and replace it by the Siemens, Mireo, B and H and I think that they will also replace the train here on that line with the 
more sustainable version. Here you can see the roof of the station, you can see a big screen which is saying T-15, this is showing the time until the train is departing. If we take a closer look at the exterior of our train, we can read that it was a former Regiojet train, as I said, now in the fleet of the Niederbahnima Eisenbahn. Here we can take another look at the interior. I have to say that I was traveling during daytime. That's why the train is so empty. I don't know if there are so many people using it that they need a double traction of the talent, but I can tell you for sure that it will be more crowded if you're traveling in the morning or in the evening when the shifts are changing but at this time there were only a handful of workers using this train but it is running the whole day every 40 minutes. Here we can see the forest on the other side and it is also planned to remove parts of this forest which is also part of criticism right now but as I said this will not be the topic of this video we will just focus on the railway line and not on Tesla itself. So just my recommendation for you if you want to see that railway line if you want to be able to travel on that railway line I would recommend doing that as soon as possible. Latest when the station Funkschleuse has the new position this railway line will probably never see a passenger train again or might even get removed at all because it's not needed anymore then and of course there's also a possibility that not enough people are using the service and it will not continue in 2025 and 26. We are now back on the regular railway line. Approximately where we are right now is the planned location for the new station of Fangschleuse and then the trains of the RE1 will just have the possibility to stop here and then there is no need for a Tesla shuttle anymore. Until then it is planned to have the trains of the Niederbahnima Eisenbahn running that service every 40 minutes. And that's why I wanted to travel on that line as soon as possible to make sure to not miss the chance to see that short but interesting a railway line. Here we can take a final look at the exterior of our train, former Regiojet Talent 1, and that's already it for this video. I hope it was interesting for you. Here you can see when my next video will be uploaded and the name of the song. As always, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to comment, like or share the video link and if you want to see more train videos, make sure to follow and I hope to see you in my next video.